insurance i know you have heard the word insurance but you have little knowledge or no knowledge at all about insurance in this video i'm going to show you how you can use insurance to improve your financial life and how to choose the right insurance policies that will help you negotiate properly to cover your insurance how does insurance work insurance is a financial product sold by insurance companies to safeguard you or your property or even your business against the risk of loss damage and theft such as flooding burglary accidents or robbery whenever you buy an insurance policy you have to make regular payments known as premiums to the insurer if you make a claim so your insurer you will pay out the losses that is covered under the policy if you don't make a claim you won't get your money back instead it is pulled with the premiums of other policy holders who have taken out insurance with the same policy company with the same insurance company if you make the claim the money comes from the pool of policy holders premium what i'm trying to explain here is that if you are paying for example $200 every month to the insurance company and you don't have any loss maybe your house is not flooded your house is not burnt down you don't have any issue with whatever you are insuring be it your car your house your business the money that you are contributing is what they will use to pay other insurance orders other people who are under the same insurance company so it is the premiums from all the insurance members that are paying to that particular insurance company that they will use to settle that of other people how are premiums calculated insurance use risk data to calculate the likelihood of the events that you are insuring against happening this information is used to work out the cost of your premium the more likely the events you are insuring against is occur the lie the higher the risk of the insurer and as a result the higher cost of your premium an insurer will only take two important factors into account when working out the premium they will charge number one how likely is it in general terms that someone will need to make a claim number two is a person who wants to take out a policy a bigger or smaller risk than the average policy order for example a young person with a high powered car may be charged a higher amount of premium which is money as they are statistically likely to have accidents compared to a more matured and experienced driver I also want you to know that many insurance policy types are available and virtually when I say virtually it can be online and also offline that is physically and online and individuals or businesses can find insurance companies that are willing to insure them for a price common personal insurance policy types are auto insurance health insurance homeowners and life insurance most individuals in the United States of America have at least one of this type of insurance the car insurance is required by the state's law businesses obtain insurance policy for field specific risks for example a fast food restaurant policy may cover an employee's injuries from work from cooking with a deep fryer medical malpractice insurance cover injury or death related liability claiming results from the health care providers negligence or malpractice businesses may be required by state law to buy specific insurance coverages there are also insurance policy available for very specific needs such as kidnap ransom and extortion insurance which is called k and r kidnap and ransom identity theft insurance wedding liability and cancellation insurance so the insurance com policy components understanding how insurance works can help you choose a policy for instance comprehensive coverage may or may not be the right type of auto insurance for you three components of any insurance type are the premium the policy limits and the deductible whenever you hear the same premium in insurance policy it means the amount of money or the premium price that you have to pay typically a monthly and 
most times yearly amounts of money often an insurer takes multiple factors into account to set a premium here are the few examples number one the auto insurance premium your history of property and your auto claims age and location the credit worthiness and many other factors that may vary by state number two the home insurance premium the value of your home personal belongings the location claim history and coverage amounts number three the health insurance premium this has to do with your age sex location health status and coverage levels and number four the life insurance premiums this has to do with age sex tobacco use health and the amount of coverage much depends on the insurance perception of your risks for a claim for example suppose you own several expensive automobiles and have a history of reckless driving in that case you would likely pay more for an auto policy than someone with a single mid-range sedan and a perfect driving record however different insurance may charge different premium that is different amounts different prices for similar policies so finding the price that is right for you may require some legwork so some policy limits the policy limit is the maximum amount an insurer will pay for a covered loss under a policy maximum may be set may be a set period for example annual or policy term per loss or per injury or over the life of the policy also known as lifetime maximum typically Higher limits carry higher premium for a general life insurance policy. The maximum amount that the insurer will pay is referred to as the face value. This is the amount paid to your beneficiary upon your debt. This is only applicable to life insurance. So if the person is not dying, if it's just car or house, there is nothing like face value. This particular general life insurance company is only applicable to life insurance. So the Federal Affordable Care ACA prevents compliance plans for instituting a, um, a lifetime limit for essential health care benefits such as family planning, maternity service, pediatric care. And then we also have the, the deductible is a specific amount you pay out of pocket before the insurer pays a claim. Deductibles serve as deterrence to large volume of small and insignificant claims for example a one thousand dollars deductible means you pay the first one thousand dollars towards any claim suppose your card's damage total costs two thousand dollars you pay the first one thousand dollars and your insurer pays the remaining one thousand dollars deductibles can apply per policy or claim depending on the insurer and the type of policy health plans may have an individual deductible and the family deductible policy with a high deductibles are typically less expensive because the high out-of-pocket expense generally results in fewer small claim type of insurance there are many type of insurance let's look at the most important one which is health insurance health insurance helps to cover routine and emergency medical care costs often with the option to add vision and dental services separately in addition to an annual deductible you may also pay copay and coinsurance which are fixed payment or percentage of a covered medical benefit after meeting the deductible however Many preventive services may be covered for free before these are met. Health insurance may be purchased from an insurance company or an insurance agent. The federal health insurance marketplace provided by an employer or federal Medicare or Medicaid coverage. The federal government no longer requires Americans to have health insurance but in some states such as California you may pay a tax penalty if you don't have an insurance also we have the home insurance homeowners insurance this protects your home and other property structures and personal possessions against natural disaster unexpected damage theft and vandalism renters insurance is another type of homeowners insurance 
homeowner insurance won't cover flood or earthquake which you have to protect against separately your lender or landlord will likely require you to have some home owners insurance company and um, coverage where homes are consigned and you don't have if you don't have coverage or stop paying your insurance bill your mortgage lender will your mortgage lender will is allowed to buy homeowners insurance for you and charge you for it then we also have the auto insurance the auto insurance can help you claim if you are injured or damage someone else's property in a car accident. They also help you to pay for accident related repairs on your vehicle or repair and replace of your vehicle if it is stolen, vandalized or damaged by natural disaster. Instead of paying out of pocket for auto accidents and damages, people pay annual premiums to an auto insurance company. The company then pays all or most of the covered costs associated with an auto accident or other vehicle damage. If you have a lease vehicle or borrowed money to buy a car, your lender or leasing dealership will likely require you to carry out auto insurance as with homeowner's insurance, the lender may purchase insurance for you if it is necessary. More on life insurance. A life insurance policy guarantees that the insurer pays a sum of money to your beneficiaries such as a spouse or children if you die. In exchange, you pay premium during your lifetime. There are two main types of life insurance. The term life insurance covers you for a specific period such as 10 to 20 years. If you die during that period, your beneficiaries receive a payment. Permanent life insurance covers your whole life as long as you continue paying the premiums. Then we also have the travel insurance. The travel insurance covers the cost and losses associated with traveling, including trip cancellation or delays, coverage for emergency health care, injuries and evacuations, and damaged baggages, rental cars and rental homes. So in general or in conclusion, what is insurance? Insurance is a way you manage your financial risk. When you buy insurance, you purchase protection against unexpected financial losses. The insurance company pay you or someone if you choose if something bad occurs. And if you have no insurance and an accident happens, you may be responsible for related costs. Why is insurance important? Insurance help protects you, your family, and your assets. An insurer will help you to cover the cost of unexpected and routine medical bills or hospitalization, accident damages to your car or injury of others, the home damage or theft of your belongings. An insurance company can even provide you your survival with a lump comp a lump sum of cash if you die. In short, insurance can offer peace of mind regarding or foreseen financial risk. And the big question is insurance and assets. Depending on the type of life insurance policy and how it is used, permanent or variable life insurance could be considered a financial asset because it can help build cash value or convert it into cash simply